Hey guys, this is RFX345 here today bringing you another tutorial. Now this one is going to be on installing um, OS7 tiles to your new OS7 theme that I showed you how to get in my previous video. One of my previous videos. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Now we're going to... First you're going to need Safari Download Manager. You're going to need that and iFile. Now you're going to want to go to Cydia. Now this is all very important. This is like the only reason you'd be able to download files off third party sites. That's basically what Safari Download Manager allows you to do. Okay, so we're going to wait for this to load. Now once it's loaded, let it refresh and everything. I already did that. You're going to want to look up Safari Download Manager. And it is going to. I will put a repo. I will put a a repository link up in my description for the free Safari Download Manager. Uh, I I wouldn't trust the other ones. This this repository is more reliable. Okay, so you're gonna to want to tap on that, and where it says modify, there would be an install button. You guys know what to do. Um, after that. You're going to want to. I already showed you how to get iFile, so after that, we're just going to go into the downloading process. Okay, hold on here. Okay, so I'm just going to exit out of this. So, you're going to want to go to Google and look up mods OS 7. So look up mod my i os7 tiles so we're going to do that go over here to google and we're going to look up mod my i os7 tiles mod my i os7 mod sorry Okay, and once you have done this, it will. You're gonna want to click on the first link right here. Now, once you click on that, it's gonna redirect you to the Mod My Eye forums, and that's okay. That's exactly what's supposed to happen. Oh, and by the way, that's Safari Download Manager right there. Uh, okay, so we're gonna wait till this loads because as soon as, like, if you're scrolling down and it finish this loading it's gonna redirect you all the way back up to the page you're gonna have to scroll all the way back down again and all that so we're gonna wait for this to load Let's just wait a while okay so once it is done loading uh... we're going to scroll down and it'll give you a wide variety of new tiles to put in with your OS 7 theme that i showed you how to get in one of my previous videos Okay, so it's almost done here. It takes a little while. Okay, so after this, see now that it's done, you're going to want to scroll down. And it'll also give you background and stuff, which I haven't tried yet. Uh, and I don't really think I want to. Okay, so here we go. These are the different tiles. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the city tile. Uh, it'll be the exact same thing with everything else. Okay, so you you're gonna wanna where it says download here, right there. You tap that, and it'll redirect you to a Mediafire link. Not all of them redirect you to Mediafire. Some go to a multi-upload, and you're gonna have to select from there. But as you can see, um, you're gonna wanna type. And you're gonna want to tap, click here to start download from Mediafire. And as soon as you do that, Safari Download Manager is gonna give you this little pop-up alert thing. You're gonna want to click download. Don't click download to hit download. So you hit download, and as you can see, the download is working down here, and it's just finished. So we're gonna want to tap on that, and there is your downloaded file. Now you're gonna want to tap on it and it'll give you an option to delete or open an iFile. You're going to want to go ahead and open an iFile. Don't see why you would delete because that would be the whole that would like ruin the whole point of downloading it. Alright so 
once I saw it was loaded and um it'll take you to this documents page as you can see now it gives you the option to use zip viewer or unarchiver you're gonna wanna use zip viewer and you're gonna wanna go down here to where this little box is and tap on that and it'll say either extract files or cancel you're gonna wanna extract the files so once the files are extracted it'll just go away and just go over here and hit done now you're gonna scroll all the way up to the top of this and it'll be right here as you can see then you're gonna wanna hit the edit button up here you're gonna wanna tap the little circle next to it right there and you're gonna wanna tap this on the side and hit copy now what that does is basically copy the file now we're gonna wanna hit go back over here and you're gonna wanna go to library once you're back in mobile you're gonna wanna go to library you're gonna wanna go all the way down till you see OS 7 right as you can see there is OS 7 right there so you wanna tap on OS 7 tap on tiles uh, and you're gonna wanna hit the edit button up here again and once you do that um, you're gonna wanna hit the little arrow thingy again and hit paste now there you go that's basically all you have to do and then once you've done that you're gonna wanna go ahead and respring now I'm gonna respring and it'll cut off the video feed or whatever so there we go so you can see I'm respringing now SV settings is actually really helpful some people think it's not but I I do so uh, once you are resprung and I will show you what it looks like in a bit as soon as this is done respringing Okay, so there we go, we are resprung. And uh, once you are done respringing, go ahead and tap this little arrow. If you don't have Cydia already pinned in, um, go all the way down to the C's until you see Cydia. There's Cydia right there for me. You're going to want to hold hold it down, it'll give you the option to pin the start menu or cancel. Now you're going to pin the start menu. As you can see, there's the com.cyric.cydia that um, it had showed previously in iFile now once you've done that there you go there is your Cydia icon or tile now you can do this with a variety of different tiles like on my iPhone as I showed you with the tutorial on how to get this theme I had the live iPod tile and now I have this live calendar tile well that's basically it that's all I really needed to show you guys that's all you have to do um, I will put up more tutorials soon on how to get uh, this lock screen over here. Um, it is called Type of Phone Weather, and as you can see, it has the weather for me. It gives you the today, the tomorrow, and your current. And I will show you how to get that in my next tutorial. Um, thank you for joining me. I hope you have comments and questions. Uh, if you have any um, requests, like if you want any tutorials to be made, if you're having some trouble with anything, just private message me or comment in my videos. In this video particularly, or any other iPhone um, video. So, there we go. Uh, Thanks for watching. I will be back with another tutorial shortly.